All right, Whiskers, go on ahead. This gift is for you. That's right, it's a story. You love stories, don't you? Come on, I'll read it to you. It's the story of winter convergence. <laughs> the time of winter convergence is near, where the sky lights up in brilliant colors, mysterious rocks fall to the ground, and people spread presents and cheer across the island. But alas, this is also when dark creatures and wicked spirits of the season look to bring an eternal winter upon all of Eternum, encasing everything in ice and snow. There are few traditions across the world that are more important than the winter festivals. These go by many names throughout the world, but they share many things in common. They are a time for celebration and gathering, a time for feasting and decorations, and most of all, a time to put aside grudges and to spread gifts of merriment to all of your neighbors. And while every celebration is a bit different, the people of Eternum have come to call this time of cheer, the winter convergence. Whiskers, do you really think I can go faster if you spam me? <coughs> Would you like me to start at the beginning? <coughs> yes, Whiskers, the convergence store has been updated and with even more cosmetics. <coughs> and of course, a new crafting item for 700 gear score players. <coughs> and chromatic seals. <coughs> and of course, as often Duskers, Whisker, can you just Let's stay focused on the story. It's part of the experience. Let's take a trip down to Eternum and watch the people prepare for the festivities. Here we are in Corinth at the beginning of the season. The people of the village prepare for the winter, getting their food packed and their supplies put away for the coming cold. But they also know that the winter convergence is soon and so too are they readying their decorations, their recipes and their gifts for the celebration. They'll start lighting the hearts and keeping watch on the hills doing all they must to keep the spirits of the eternal winter from reaching their doorstep. They'll begin putting up streamers in the streets, wreaths and twinkling candles on their homes, and make their way into the town square for the centerpiece of the festival, the Tree of Light. <sighs> no whiskers, you don't need to teleport to all 12 trees for a full reward, you just have to go to three. <clears throat> that was kind of rude, but I'll let it go. And each night they'll look into the sky, waiting for the brilliant ribbons of light that are the hallmark of the winter convergence. They'll wait eagerly for the glowing streams to wink into existence, for they know that with the ribbons comes the Gleamite. And what is Gleamite, you might ask? Well, no one really knows. But the people of Eternum do know that it falls with the winter lights, coming down in small showers across the island. <coughs> yes, Whiskers, Gleamite showers are going to be much more common this year. <coughs> but it isn't all cheer and glee now, is it? No. For out there, lurking in the wilds of the island, is the winter warrior, looking for wayward travelers and adventurers. The warrior is a terrible sight to behold, a dark shadow in an otherwise festive season of lights. Underneath the merriment and feasts is a steady unease as the eternal winter threatens to overtake the island and turn it into a land of perpetual frost. Throughout the winter convergence celebration, groups of adventurers will journey out to hunt and challenge the winter warrior, both as a way to prevent the eternal winter, but also to prove their might in battle. While defeating the winter warrior is no easy task, it is a good omen for the festivities, and the adventurers are given an opportunity to acquire gifts and trophies to show off their accomplishments. That is if they are lucky enough to survive. Pretty scary, huh? whispers, wake up. Yay! Listen, I get that maybe you're not into the story, but can you appreciate that there's a strong positive message in all this? <sighs> what do you want to know? Yay! I'm not prepared to talk about that at this time. Yay! Can't talk about that yet either. <clears throat> but Deb probably forgot it on the set before we made that video. <clears throat> yeah, I read the comments. <clears throat> no, you can't change your appearance. Just be happy with who you are. <clears throat> no, go ask Santa if you want some <clears throat> hippos. <clears throat> really? For me? Oh, well, that's unexpected. Thank you. Whiskers, it's a beautiful story. You're gonna sit and you're gonna enjoy it. I'm sorry, Whiskers, I didn't mean to be harsh. You're fine though, right? You're tough. I guess what I really wanted to share with you, the reason for the story, is because of the end. I'll just cut to the chase. During winter convergence, nothing makes me happier than to see you, your friends, strangers all over the world running around to turn them. I guess that's what the convergence is, isn't it? It's many things to many people. 
It's a coming together of people and traditions, all joining hand in hand to create something really unique and memorable to the people of a lost island. For a brief time at least, people can find hope and joy and maybe come together to celebrate the past year while looking forward to the one that's on the horizon. It's all about having fun together. I'm grateful that of all the places you could choose to visit, you chose this place. And I wanna thank you all for being here for that. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. And we've got some great stuff on the way. It might not be under the tree tonight, but when it's time to share, oh yeah, it's gonna be as big a spectacle as a Gleamite shower. <laughs> And to all of you out there, I hope you take time to not only celebrate with us, but with your family and friends. And I look forward to seeing you all at the Winter Convergence. Hey, if you like the show and you want us to keep doing this weekly and you get value out of it, let us know. Like, subscribe, follow, all those fun things. And then we will see you in a tournament. Hey, we know this wasn't the traditional kind of video you're used to. This was made after hours at work with me and Lovin and the help of his wife, Amy. Thanks, Amy. So this did not detract from the game at all. We just figured for the holidays, let's have a little fun.